Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, today is April 26th, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and it's Brock's birthday today, my dog's birthday. So, happy birthday to Brock. He's six years old today. It's also the day that I'm going to plant my dahlias. Uh, a lot of people wait to plant their dahlias till Mother's Day, and that is great. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it. <laughs> because I'm impatient and it's it's nice and I check the weather and I think it's gonna be just fine and these guys will take a little bit before they start sprouting up so if I do have any sprouts and a frost comes they won't be too big to cover up so I'm gonna go ahead and do it today and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it uh, a day or two ago I pulled the grass whew, out of where I'm putting my dahlias they'll be right here against my fence um, they are deer resistant, so they do not have to go in the fence. This area gets full sun, especially during the summer. In the winter, not so much, but the dahlias don't grow in the winter, do they? I have cleared the grass out of it, and I'm going to loosen the soil up a bit and plant my tubers. I got the soil loosened up a bit. Um, I do have to do that with dahlias because dahlias need a well-draining soil. If it's really compact and clay filled like mine is, it won't drain very well if it's not loosened up a bit. So I loosened it up. These are my dahlia tubers. Um, pulled them out of the field while they were still blooming. Uh, it was definitely the end of their bloom season though in October, the end of October, and I cleaned them off and divided the tubers a few weeks ago, and this is what they're looking like now. You can see I've got some growth right there, that light green stuff behind right there. That's some growth. Got to get that string off of there. I use that to hang them. See, and they're starting to look kind of dry and sad, so they need to get in the ground. Got more growth on this one. See right there? See, they're not coming out of these things. A lot of people make that mistake and think these things are the plant, but they're not. They come out of the eyes on the side there. Got one there. There's one there. This one's very, very dry. Whew! But it's got life, so it will be planted. This one didn't look like anything was happening, but oh, it's too small. Right under there is one. So that one's still good. Oh, look at this big boy. Oh, look at that. There's one there. There's another one there, underneath that root. There's some. Ooh, something's... Looked like it was eating on that one. Hi! Got them spaced out there and ready to be planted. Um, my first ever dividing does seem to have been successful because each one of the dahlia, dahlia clumps does have at least one growing uh, spot on it. So that means that they'll each produce at least one plant. So that's exciting. I did it right. Go me. Um, I'm gonna start digging holes for these and I will show you how I plant them. So I have dug my hole about six inches deep there. This is the tuber that's going in. Get my glove on here. This is the soil that's going back in. And I'm gonna make sure it's all loose and nothing is too wet. The soil is not dry, but it's not overly moist either. So that's, that's pretty good there. The tuber simply sits in the hole sideways. 
it does not go like this okay this is not this is wrong it goes sideways you can actually see the growth already coming there so put it in there sideways and then I'm gonna put the dirt back in but first uh, going to mix a little bit of this stuff in there. Um, see right there. Ideal for dahlias. So here we go. It's good. Going to gently cover the tuber. Then I'm going to mix this into this and fill the hole. And it's too hard to do holding the camera, so I'll show you when it's done. All right, that one's in. And I just stuck a stick there so I'd know where I planted already because it starts getting a little confusing. And it's in. got them all in back there um, I was going to actually mix the cedar shavings in with the dirt but that dirt's in a lot better condition than I thought it was um, seems like a lot of the topsoil that we brought in to level out this area last year was actually over here because it was quite sandy so it's good to go and I just used the uh, the cedar shavings that were in there as mulch um, and because I used them, I'm actually going to water this in, but I'm not going to water it a lot. I'm mainly just going to water it to make the cedar shavings a little wet because we've got some serious wind coming and I don't want all my cedar shavings to float away. So I'm going to water it just a bit just to hit those cedar shavings. Also to um, water this new current because it needs water again. And, and that's done. That's dahlias, folks. Um, these are very fast growing, so watch for an update video because I'll be making them, I'm sure. You guys have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for watching.